Today we are going to look out for the new game on the Minecraft franchise. Is it Minecraft Dungeons? No. Is it just Minecraft? Also no. We are going to see what Minecraft Legends is about and if it's worth all the hype. If there is any hype, I don't know. Let's just check here and react to Minecraft Legends. A new game. From the Minecraft, no, from the creators of Minecraft. Okay. Legends hold great power. They are the dreams we weave. Is this the actual graphics of the game? Let me just come back here to see the normally oh cinematic footage, but is it the actual like visuals of the game? Because it's looking very interesting, at least here. I mean, in the last video when I talked about Minecraft, I was searching from Minecraft images to use as an example. And what I noticed was that like 95% of the images on Google when you search for Minecraft are not real images. All the images are 3D renders made with RTX technology and very, very complex uh, rendering techniques that are not implemented in the actual game. So the game looks much better in the images that you find in Google than they look inside of the actual game. But this this video that we are, that we are watching right now, it's basically exactly uh, how the, the renders look like when you search for Minecraft on Google. So I hope that the, the, the looks are like this, although it's not the most important part of the game, as I mentioned in the previous game, but it's looking cute. It's, it's looking good. Let's continue. They are the dreams we weave into our shared story. Some All legends right. tell of peace and the beauty of simplicity. When you put anything like with realistic lighting, it can be the ugliest thing ever, like the images you are seeing here, and it's still going to look good. <laughs> Some tell of danger. And the end of all things. Oh, so now everything is turning on the other way around. Now it's not someone from the overworld that's visiting the nether and destroying everything, mining their stuff, stealing their castles. I think they got mad and this is their revenge. They are, <laughs> they are planning to destroy the overworld just because basically Steve, if we can call the main character general, main character on Minecraft Steve, invaded the nether world or dimension or whatever, and stole their castles, stole their treasures, built on, on their property. So I think this is their revenge. But the legends we hold dearest are legends of hope, of creativity, and of bravery. Okay. And friendships that change the world forever. I took that. Oh. This okay. is the legend of a united overworld. United by you. Is this going to be something like an RTS or something like this? Ah, now you can see the actual looks of the game. I knew that it wasn't going to be that pretty. There was a message here that I lost. Pre-released gameplay, right? Okay, so, wow, there's an interesting building thing here. This is like Dynasty Warrior-like combat. I don't like this. interesting a new action strategy game coming in 2023 all right so probably it's an rts or something like this let me see if i'm not using rts as <laughs> something that's not an rts because i'm not used to the names of the styles 
what is an RTS game? Yeah, real-time strategy. So I was using this correctly. Unite the overworld. Unite the overworld. All right, so I think we need to see more of this game to know what is, this is about, but I think it's not uh, the game we are all expecting it to be. I think that I, I this may be a personal thing, but let me know if you agree with me in the comments. And if you are enjoying this video, don't forget to subscribe and drop a like. Just randomly asking <laughs> uh, if you want more content like this, of course, you need a reason to follow. In my opinion, the, the game, the Minecraft game that everybody's expecting is a kind of one of those games that are dozens of copies, dozens of other companies that are making Minecraft copies are trying to create that is an RPG based on construction and sandbox. I don't believe that a, an MMO would be the correct approach to this because a Minecraft MMO would be so confusing. Can you imagine a huge, almost infinite world where everybody can build whatever they want? What I think would be the perfect Minecraft game is a Minecraft that was thought to be played in multiplayer with many people playing in the same map, but at the same time, maybe something with NPCs where you can visit cities that can be random generated with random NPCs inside of their stores. When you are playing actual Minecraft, there are villages, there are big cities inst uh, sometimes instead of the game that are just automatic generated. I imagine a Minecraft game where basically you get together with a few friends, like five to 10 friends, and you build a world, an empire inside of Minecraft, and you can conquer a thing. And the villagers are not just there walking around doing anything and you are just stealing their stuff <laughs> and you are just killing everybody if you want and they're doing absolutely nothing about it. So I think that it would be a cool game where you have an adventure, an RPG where you get your characters to get stronger and stronger, not based on items, but your actual character where you can actually die like in Min Minecraft. Because one of the things that I like the most in Minecraft is that when you die, you have real consequences of, uh, because of your death. And I love games that brings this, not in a hardcore, like mortal-like game, because you die and you lose your character forever, not like this, but the consequences of dying are something relevant. I think this is something that we are losing a lot in the games nowadays, and I would love to see an RPG based on the Minecraft world where you can construct, you can conquer, you can ev uh, evolve your character and you, you can build your own story inside of that world. You can use, for example, the dynamic character creation and world creation from RimWorld, which is a, an extremely interesting game that whenever you play it for a long time, it's inevitable, you are going to get insanely interesting stories that are only yours. Nobody will have the same stories, the same experience as you have when you play RimWorld. And I would like to see something that's randomly generated, an RPG-like, evolving your characters, evolving your colony, trying to conquer new kingdoms that are automatically generated by the, the seed, in this case, inside of the Minecraft world. It would be great. It would be awesome. Let me know if you like this idea and let's make Mojang produce it with 1 billion <laughs> upvotes and <laughs> requests in the Mojang page. Let's see if we can find anything else about Minecraft Legends because although it's not my style of game, I can see that many people are, are enjoying the RTS style mainly nowadays and we are lacking a few, a few more good RTS games. No, from what I see, this is the only official information, the only official video that we can find inside of the entire internet, unless I'm missing some leaked information. But this is all the official information that we have about Minecraft Legends right now. So my final thoughts on this game and this trailer is that I hope that they were using more of the original graphics of the game to show the story and, and so on. We are very used to see these kinds of things nowadays. 
uh, when we see a game, whether or not it has good graphics. The trailers, they are showing much more of what the game actually is instead of what it could be in 10 or 15 years with graphic evolving. As I mentioned before, graphics are not the main stuff inside of a game. I know that the easiest thing to sell on a game, mainly on a trailer, are the graphics. But honestly, nowadays there are so many uh, games with excellent graphics that the graphics are going to start to be irrelevant in a game because if everybody can reach very good graphics, not 100% realistic yet, until probably Unreal Engine 6, for example, because Unreal Engine 5 is just insane. You can search, oh, I can even react to a video of them uh, in the future. This is my review. I would love to see uh, more about this game. I would love to try it too, because it uh, it's been a long time since I played an RTS game and mixing it with building. And I saw that there are many interesting things about how the, the, the building is made inside of this game with that kind of fairy building the stuff. And I also enjoyed, uh, the, I probably would say that uh, playing Minecraft as much as I did, and I played a lot, I will show the castle that I built along more than two months in survival. It, it took me so long, but I'm so proud of it. And one day I will get back there and just add the, the final details of my construction. And playing Minecraft as much as I did in the past, it makes lots of sense for the people from the nether to invade the overworld. Honestly, I think that Steve is the villain here. <laughs> Don't you think? Like, as I said before, he got in the nether, he started building, killing their, their inhabitants, stealing from their castles, building there without any authorization. People, he is clearly not welcome in the nether because everybody tries to kill him when he's there. So yeah, I probably would say that I agree with the revenge from the people from the nether against the overworld. So this is my review about uh, Minecraft Legends. And if you want more reviews like this, don't forget to drop a like so YouTube knows you are liking it and it's going to show more of my videos to you. Don't forget to subscribe and see you in the next video. Oh, and by the way, I'm starting this YouTube channel right now. It's my second video that I'm recording. And in the beginning, I'm hoping to bring two new videos about video games every week. And let's see if I can bring you more because I'm getting used to it. In the last video, it took me two lives to edit. <laughs> it took me literally 13 hours of work just to edit that video. And I don't know why I'm saying this, but I think it's relevant. So you can know that I'll bring you two videos every week. So thank you. My name is Lucas Highland and see you in the next one.